So today is a Friday and there are some yard sales today. A lot actually, and it's already been super busy. So we're gonna go to a couple more, see what they have. I had a bunch of jewelry, but it is all gone. Mm. Of course it was costume jewelry, but a lot of people like that. Mm -hmm. That's true. That is a camera. It works. Yeah. Oh, okay. Nothing wrong with it. It includes the extra battery and an extra disc. And we charged it yesterday to make sure it works. And um, of course it cost a good amount of money at the time we bought it. Sure. So I offered 20 and they declined, but I went back to the car to look up that model number. Turns out that model number actually is pretty good and definitely worth $25. So I went back to buy it. Perfect. How much was that? I didn't see that on the first round I was here. The club pot. That thing is nice. Yeah. That's all. Four bucks? Oh yeah, I'll buy that for four bucks. I'll put, my, I'll put my camera in it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I came back for the camera and got a pot. Well, I do appreciate since, it. Since you got the camera, might as well get the case. Ah, I've already got a case, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate it, though. Y'all yeah. have a good day. You too. All right, check. Uh, this is a traffic jam. Traffic jam. Dude, check out this old club where I didn't see this thing. This is in perfect condition. It's only $20. He needs a home. Ah, oh, man, I don't know what I would do with them. He looks like a beach bear to me. <laughs> yeah. Man, it's only 20 bucks. Well, make me an offer. The box, I would say if you're going to, you, you've got to keep it inside or because the bottom is rotten a little bit. Right. But it, it's pretty, it's sturdy. Let me show you. <clears throat> oh, he's got a little little water damage yeah. to, his, to his butt. Well, listen, he... I mean, he's a bear. I mean, Make me an offer. 15. There you go. Boom. Oh. <laughs> Taking this off of here. Yep. I'm going to look around. Okay. Bought the bear for 15. Yep, I knew he'd go. That's old Billy the bear. <laughs> You said you liked them. I was like, get yeah. something for free. I like the turtle. That looks more beachy. Yeah? It's also 200 That's true. I got a bear that for 15 nice. bucks. That's worth 200 I like the, the turtles. Yeah, I've been, I've, no, he's not for sale. No, I know. But those are cool. <laughs> I've been Good. selling these down here, but not cool. at yard sales. Sure. Yeah. You make them? Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Very cool. All right, we will take our bear. Peace. Come here, bud. <clears throat> Let look over here. There's Marvin the Moose. Yeah, look, and Marvin the Moose. You could have a pair. Sure. Pair, pair of bears. No. Pair of bears. You don't want a moose too? Nah. <laughs> kind of, but not, not enough. <laughs> have a good day. Look at this guy. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what? He's got a uh, water damage. I want to seal his butt up. It's gonna go in my mountain cabin. What mountain cabin? I don't have it yet, but it's going. Ah, <laughs> uh, we can be negotiating. I like negotiating. It's not bad. Little tools come in handy. Mm. Is that Dayton? You do two on that? Two yeah. Hours? All right. Thank you. Thank you. You have a good day. You too. All right, we have just compromised. Caleb would not let the bear go in the backyard, but now I'm looking for a bear beach hat, sunglasses, and shirt. I could paint a shirt on him, like a Hawaiian shirt. I don't think it'll look right because he's like textured. Yeah, I'll have to just probably get a shirt, like a kid's shirt. Like a build-a-bear shirt. Like a build-a-bear shirt. All right, so we're going to build the bear in the backyard. 
This is a nice little bridge. If you haven't been to South Carolina in this area, this is Conway, as it says right there on their little uh, water tower. But this is a nice little town, like the town of Conway. They got the river coming through, and as you can tell right there on the little skyline, small skyline, it's a nice little town to come and walk around in. They usually have a town yard sale, which they haven't had in a while. But if you're in the area, they got farmer's markets and stuff. Nice little town to visit. Look at them. Any type of train stuff is cool. Made in Japan. I feel like these are worth money. They're cool. Little brass. Oh, he's broken. Just kidding. That thing is pretty nice. Huh. Yeah, 100% on this. That's gonna be cool. Are, you can two bucks? I'll take it for two bucks. Yeah. Yeah. They're really pretty, and if you've got a plant, let's say like a, a snake plant or it's a, a green leaf plant, yeah. it's decorated. Oh. It's a gift too for gardeners. Some horror good. movies, that's one thing. Good about horror movies. Alrighty. Okay. I got this. Yes. Two dollars and. Those are 10 cents. Alright. Just take three. That's oh, fine. Well, thank you. Yes, ma'am. The driest fruit and it, uh, there's a plug in in the garage. The that thing's right cool. There. Good morning. How would you like to buy something? <laughs> hey, do you have any sports cars? Yeah. That's okay. We'll, we'll get these okay. from you. I don't know if I got any change. That's, uh, uh five. Five and. Three, two, two, seven. You have All right, so I did put the bear in the backyard. Kayla wants to get a pair of sunglasses for him, a beach shirt, and a hat. So he looks more beachy, but I mean, right now, come on, that bear right there, he looks like he's at home. Billy, he has a happy bear. Back from the yard sale, let's go over some stuff that I picked up, and one of them super good, big bolo. So let's go over it and look, the guy. He actually works. So look at this guy. He is from the company. The reason why, number one, you couldn't really see him on camera just because I had, like, my camera was low and it was cutting off his face. But if you look back here on here, it says, it's hard to see, but 1987 Telco Creations. And I was like, dude, 1987 Halloween decorations go for a ton of money. They almost, I, would, I honestly think that certain Halloween decorations outdo Christmas decorations, like, crazy amount. But anyway... Telco, big brand to look out for. Some of their stuff goes two, three, all the way up to like 500 bucks. I think the Dracula guy or the vampire guy with the little skull though only goes for about probably 30 to 40 bucks. Uh, but it's still a really good deal for only five bucks. And this one, I ain't got a clue. Well, I've looked everywhere. I, I, it almost looks homemade, but her face is just like, it's hard. It's not rubber, it's just a hard face. I don't know, but I'm telling you right now, Halloween decorations, especially vintage Halloween decorations, be on the lookout for those. Also, be on the lookout for horror films. These aren't like first editions or anything like that, but uh, Tales of the Crypt, I think, goes for like $10 brand new. And then this one right here, I'm always looking for like weird movies that are VHS that I've never heard of or, or anything like that because a lot of times, some of these go for a good bit amount of money. This one sells consistently used for some reason for like five to six bucks. But new, I'm thinking I can probably get about 10 bucks for it. So really, she wanted 10 cents per VHS. And I was like, nah, I'll give you 50 cents for them. So I gave her 40 more cents. That's not bad. But here is the Bolo guy. This one right here is from the company Manfrotto. And that's the company... There it is right there. So made in Italy by Manfrotto Bogan, I guess. I saw the word Manfrotto and I knew this was gonna be a quality tripod. And it's also right here. So on a tripod, you're gonna have like the legs right here and then you're gonna have the head right here. So then make sure that you comp both of those out because some Manfrotto heads go for a ton of money. Some of their tripods go for a ton of money. Aluminum tripods go for decent from Manfrotto. But if you ever find a carbon Manfrotto uh, tripod, Pick that thing up. Some of those go $900 to $1,000. This one right here, so how you would comp it out or look it up on eBay, type in Manfrotto with that name, and then they're gonna be marked on here. So this is a 3011, so 
type that in there and then put head on it and then put model uh, 3126 it pops up this right here should get 70 to 80 bucks for plus shipping easy to ship all I do is just collapse it down and then put it in a 4x4 four by, four by whatever box 24 or 36 whatever it's going to be and then I always send those UPS so not a bad day there at the yard sales I thought it was pretty good Fridays are my favorite days of the yard sale I'll tell you why couple reasons <laughs> One, they don't start as early. Usually it's very rare that we find a Friday yard sale that starts at 7 a.m. or 6.30. Usually they're the nine o'clockers, to be honest with you, eight o'clock, nine o'clock. And I like getting up early, don't get me wrong, but I really like the eight o'clock yard sales for some reason. People, you know, you can get there 7.30, people really haven't been there or anything like that. So big fan of Friday yard sales. Also, a lot of people have to work on Fridays, to be honest with you. We, this is what we do for a living, so we're always available on Friday to go yard, yard selling or sourcing or something like that. It always works out that we usually find some pretty good stuff on a Friday. We go to a huge yard sale after, uh, which you're gonna see in the next video, gigantic yard sale. We spend 30 minutes there. We score some huge stuff on that yard sale, but I was super happy with the Manfrotto, the 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 uh the old vampire guy right there and all the other stuff we picked up today so oh and the bear but i'm gonna have to buy somehow find sunglasses for him and so kayla allows him in the backyard but although i did put him in the backyard and she immediately said he was cute so i mean the bear is definitely gonna stay billy is now part of the backyard i do appreciate everybody that watches remember if you're not subscribed subscribe comment down below like the video you know i will always get you on the next one